We are at the fourth annual symposium on regenerative medicine and here at Rochester, Minnesota, in the Mayo Clinic. And we are joined by Dr. Martin Childers, which is a professor of rehabilitation medicine at the University of Washington. And he gave a wonderful and very exciting presentation this morning that is going to bring hope to many of our patients with muscle disease. And specifically, he talked about the new approach with gene therapy to cure this disease. And I will leave him now to give us a summary of this wonderful presentation and the future sure. direction. Yeah. Thank, thank you for that. That's very kind of you. So uh, th this started um, almost by accident in 2009 when I was introduced to a wonderful uh, mother of a child with a rare disease called myotubular myopathy. It's a very rare disease that affects one in 50,000 um, baby boys born every year in the U.S. And in 2009, um, Allison Fraze is her name, uh, contacted me about potentially finding a dog that might have this disease and, and would I be interested. And uh, at the time I'd been working in, in uh, regenerative uh, medicine uh, for a period of time, working in the, in, in, uh, <coughs> with dogs as a potential model, and I said sure. She was able to find and locate a dog that carried a very rare mutation that was responsible for this disease in canines. And through a series of uh, interesting events, uh, collaborators in France were, uh, provided us with a medicine. It was a gene replacement medicine that allowed us to test this for the first time in these dogs that had this rare disease. Rare disease. And, and what we found was that after just a few weeks, the dogs that were destined to, uh, to perish, to die, from uh, muscle weakness and respiratory weakness, uh, completely recovered. And it was, a, uh, it, it was a, a watershed moment for us in, in the field, and because this had never been seen before. So uh, fast forward now to uh, 2015, and we've now um, had the opportunity uh, working with um, a, a biotech company and with the NIH and with the MDA to replicate this finding in uh, a larger number of animals and to find a dose that uh, is uh, if effective and is, uh, I could almost say, curative in this uh, dog model of disease. So the hope now is to translate this into patients with myotubular myopathy. So that's uh, on the horizon. Uh, we hope that uh, this will happen uh, next year in 2016. And uh, we're excited because uh, this is the first real hope, I think, for these patients with a, a rare and devastating neuromuscular disease. Again, this is the four annual symposium on regenerative medicine, and uh, we were joined by Dr. Childer, and this is Carmen Tersic, and thank you.